Very few. Congratulations. Thanks. You're a standout on that. You really are. And I'm not just saying that, you know, to suck up to you because you can't do anything for me personally. Right, right. <laughs> no, so I you know think, it's sincere. I think it's going okay. I was a writer and performer last year, so I didn't get on. I got on every couple of shows, but I think this year it'll... I'll be on a little more, you know how that works. But you get to hang out with some cool people, though, when you work on that show, don't you? Yeah, that actually is the coolest, because they don't know, like, I'm a wheeze from Arizona. <laughs> you know, and then you get thrown into this, and, uh, and the hosts are always fun to, you know, see, and they have to talk to you. They're forced to talk to you, because you're part of the show. But some of them are cool, like, uh, but some of them also have, like, an assistant with them. And because if they're really big, so, like, I remember Patrick Swayze had, like, an assistant lady. And you're not allowed to talk to them unless you talk to her first. Mm -hmm. So it's really weird because I don't, you know, and they don't know who anybody is, and they always got that kind of attitude towards you, you know. And you're like, "Hi, I need to talk to Patrick," and they're like, "Okay, you are." Oh, um, I'm David Spade. Oh, and this is regarding. I, I wanted to talk to him, but I'm a writer. Oh, yeah. So he knows you through. <laughs> you're on Earth because I'm cool and you're an idiot. But 